Diamond. So this is a session on phase one. So the, the goal here today is I'm not going to get into the weeds too much, but the purpose of this is specifically on the loan associate side to be able to understand, um, you know, from, I guess, high level, the process from start to finish, uh, all these little steps that take place in order to get us to the successful phase two component. Okay, so think about that for a minute. You know, the loan associate is really phase one, all the steps that have to take place in order for you to get to that finish line, which is the sign fee agreement, converting to phase two, and all the things and steps that have to transpire, all the little funnels that you walk through in order to get to the final destination. Um, so this is what we call phase one process. Uh, step one of that is obviously the straightforward part of the marketing, okay? So in order for us to be able to go through the process, we have to do marketing. So this is generating leads, um, you know, contacting brokers. Dan knows this really well. Tom knows this well, and I do too. It's you're on the phones, you're fostering relationships, and we call it CPIG, right, which is basically connecting people, partnering with people on things, providing them information, giving to them things that we can. Um, you know, I just, uh, in fact, the other day I just gave a book to somebody. Uh, the other day I was spending some time with someone who needs some help with something. So we're just always looking for those right types of people. So we're always disqualifying, right? We're not qualifying, we're disqualifying. Like we, we probably could have did a better job on this one that we just did of disqualifying that client, right? So that we don't go through this headache. Um, and so we just get better at discerning and saying, okay, is this somebody who we want to work with that we can have a relationship with? And then once we identify that, uh, that they become an H3 or, uh, you know, a, a D1 or a A2 or a D2, then we really start to press into those relationships to foster opportunities uh, for us to look at and sign up and work towards. So that's really the marketing process is following up on ticklers, reaching out and pressing into those relationships with the intention of growing it and, and fostering new opportunities, lending opportunities for us to look at. So I'm gonna stop there and you know, field any questions that anybody has about that. It's pretty, pretty straightforward. We're just got to do marketing. You guys are going to hear this come out of my mouth a billion times. Tom has, and, uh, and Dan will as well, is you've got to do your activities. If you don't do your activities, Tom and I were just talking about that this morning in our meeting, is I, I said, do you notice how busy we are? And he said, yes, I'm like, I'm at capacity. I'm like, and I said, that's because we've been doing the activities. And I said, if you stop doing the activities because you get fat and happy and you're like, oh my gosh, I've got all this stuff, then you're going to wake up with a dry pipeline. Um, you have to continually be disciplined at staying and fostering and fostering and, uh, you know, working here. This is our culture. That is huge. Doing the activities leads to opportunities. And you always have to do that. You never stop doing it. I've been doing it for 17 years through thick and thin, through markets that have been thriving and through markets that have been down. And I can tell you with high level of confidence, it works. It worked when everything, when everybody was not making any money, it worked when everybody was making money. And uh, the reason, you know, uh, you know, praise the Lord for this, but the reason why I got through that was because I kept doing the work. I didn't stop. Um, and so that's critical as step one is you've got to stay consistent and staying in front of people out of sight, out of mind. So that's number one. So that's the first M, marketing. Step number two is what we call mining. So all of a sudden you found an opportunity and you're like, okay, great. 
what do I do? And this is what we call mining. So we're digging into it, mining through it, asking these questions. You guys have heard me say this, it'll be the same thing too. You're, you're finding out, you know, what's the urgency on this? You know, why is it that they need to do this? You know, are, is there loyalty in this, right? Um, what is the viability of the transaction? You know, you're talking about your fee, you're gathering information on the transaction of the four C's, cash flow, credibility, credit, and collateral. You're walking through all those C's to figure out whether this is something that we really can take on. Obviously, given what we just dealt with on this last transaction, we're probably going to add a little, uh, you know, token in there to try to see if we can vet out some of the realities of the personality. Um, and but what you're doing is you're disqualifying through the mining process to say, do we really want to go to the next step, or are we going to say goodbye, or is there something that needs to change in order for it to work, right? Those are really what's going to happen. You're either saying it's just not a fit for us, it's too small, it's you know the the, the cash flow's not there, whatever that is, or it is hey this is looks great, let's go forward, or it's hey it could be good if X Y Z happens, right? So you're going through that process through our uh, questionnaire that we do every time to determine whether or not this is something we do. In that mining process, by the way, let me just add this little caveat. You are providing feedback at the end of the mining uh, conversation as, a, as an added measure of determining whether there's a fit here or not by letting them know, here's probably what we can do. Here's our fees, here's the terms, here's the structure on what we can pull off. All of these are available via videos and, and some of the documents we put together. But the purpose of that is to hear them say, hey, that works out great, or not in a million years, you're way off, or you know, through that process, you found out they're shopping. Dan and I just dealt with this the other day, he's shopping the deal like crazy, right? He's talked to everybody, Tom, Dick, and Harry in, in, in town, which is okay. It's just good that we found that out pretty quick, right? Because it's like, we don't, we don't want to spend our time going down that road if it's just totally shocked, right? Because we just need to make sure we're spending time where we know we can have success. So, so that's the mining process. We're mining through to determine if we want to go to the next step. So any comments or questions about that um, today? Okay, don't be shy, people. Um, so, so the, the, the mining process, so you got marketing leads to mining, mining leads to move it in. Move it in is simply put, you're now going to them and saying, send me these items that I need in order for me to really determine if what you just told me is accurate, okay? So we're now collecting, um, enough documentation it's not you know all inclusive but it's enough documentation for us to say okay is this really a, a good fit so as as reagan used to say it trust but verify this is verification now we are now getting the information to verify what they said is accurate or not and to determine if that really is viable so we're looking at the tax returns we're looking at the corporate returns, we're looking at profit and losses, we're looking at debt to, to look at all of the cash flow, and we're looking at the property information to really see if this is something that's gonna fit with the market that we're gonna take it out to in this transaction. Um, this is also important to notate in this process that when you do this, it's one other layer of determining if somebody is really serious. Or what do you guys think I mean by that? How fast they send you this bill? Right. It gets double checked for shoppers yeah. too to see if they're. Yeah. You know, yeah. So, how quick they get us the stuff, 
uh, if they're a shopper or not. You know, you if someone's sending you stuff fast and you've gone through your vetting process, that starts to tell you like, okay, they're serious. Like they, they, this is a priority for them. Uh, it's moved from here to here. They, they want to get this done and they're serious about it getting done. So it's just another measure for you. That's why we have that week period. We say, if it's not in a week, you kick it out and do a tickler, right? Because again, you want to focus on the ones that are serious and they want to really give attention to it. Um, and so that's a great uh, job in just understanding we are sending a checklist. We need to see them get it back to us in a reasonable period of time and then organizing that so that we can quickly discern through if this is something we can work with. So again, marketing, mining, move it in. And then once you do, the fourth step is we model it. So now, what do you guys think I mean when I say model it? I mean, there's more than more than one way to get a deal done. So it's kind of just figuring out, you know, where, where do they want to be? Um, you know, what, how can they get there? Um, and kind of what achieves their, achieves their goal. Yeah. So the model, it is really doing the analysis, right? It's, it's assessing it, running the financials, looking to see if the cash flows there, asking questions, making sure there's some things that we can do to, uh, make sure this is going to fit ultimately it, or not. So the modeling is just doing the analysis. It's running your cash flow. Dan is probably going to be tired of hearing about debt service coverage <laughs> ratio, but you know, that's, that's what we're doing. We're, we're doing analysis to do cash flow to determine if we have a deal or LTV, if it's a certain type of transaction or a projection. So that's the model it's section. You've got the information, you look through their tax terms, you look through their personal financial statement, you're, you're making sure there's cash there, you know, all these little checks that we're doing to assess whether the bank is gonna go, hey, green light or it's not gonna work, okay? Um, step five is to match it. So we've done the modeling, now we go, okay, we got something here, and now we're gonna match it. So what do you what do I mean by when I say I'm gonna match it? Match it with the blender that will accept the deal or shows any interest in it. Correct. Yeah. So we're gonna match it with the particular lender. So identifying lenders, remember how many do we always try to go for? Two. Well, we could look at three, obviously. Yeah, you're right. But ultimately, we have to have at least two. So a primary and a secondary is a backup so that we always have that in place because as you guys know, stuff happens. Um, deals go haywire, loan amounts change, somebody does something. So we always have to have primary and a secondary lender and we have to keep refining that and doing a better job. So we're trying to match it with who we think is the best fit for the client um, as we can. And then obviously we're gonna answer questions and collect quotes. So we're gonna take all this information, package it up, send it out to the lender, get you know, things back. They might just say it's not a fit, or they might say, hey, I have some more questions, or they might say, here's a quote, okay? But what we're trying to get to is either a yes or a no, and then get the quote. That's the section we're trying to get there. We're trying to make a match, get a quote from them, so that we have something to take back to the borrower to present to them, okay? So we've made the match now, we know that we have a fit, and now we're, we're going on to the next section, which is gonna be the mold it. So this is the part that, um, you know, probably could happen a little bit before we go out. So I might even actually move that uh, to the top but ultimately what you're doing is if you find out that there's some challenges with the deal, you're now in a position, so you're getting some bad feedback or things from the lender. Well, we have some ideas within our system and process where you can actually structure a deal to make it so that it works. So for example, Tom and I have recently been working on one where there's some, there's some challenges going on with the, the person individually that's you know, rolling over into their, uh, a business and what we 
came up with, at least as an idea, uh, as a molded thing, was he said, well, gosh, what if he sold his building and did a sell lease back? So he'd get cash out of it, stay in the building, gets the money he needs to, maybe can buy it back at the end of the day. So, you know, we'll see if that works out or not. But the point I'm making is that we try to come up with some ideas that we could implement in order for people to actually, you know, maybe a deals with a little tweak can be from dead to, to life. And we can actually make something work that didn't before. And so that's just another little proactive way we can get something to work uh, on when we're doing a transaction. Tom actually did this one time on a deal we were doing for a sand and gravel pit where uh, he went through and figured out, well, gosh, if he pays off all of his debt and refinances it, then the payments will go down so much that the cash flow will work. Well, that was fantastic because you know it was, it was a little tweak of molding that allowed it something that couldn't work, now it could. So these are just strategies, tactical things that we have in place that we can use in order for us to get something that might not work to where it is, okay? <clears throat> Questions on that or comments, Tom or anybody? No, I'm good. Okay. This all making sense, Lana, to you as well? Yes, it is. Because you're going to be a producer here pretty soon. Oh, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Next week. <laughs> Get oh, ready. <laughs> you're, in, you're up to bat. So, um, so, so essentially, you know, we, we started all the way at marketing. We go to the mining section. We go to the move it in section. We go to the modeling section. You know, we go to the match it section. We're getting quotes. We're molding things to make sure that they work. That's the sixth step. And then step number seven is we make the deal. Okay. So you, you finally have gotten quotes back. You've gotten an LOI in your hand. We figured out a way that the deal is going to work. We've done our vetting as best as we can with the information that's provided to us. And then we're going to structure an LOI, so the letter of interest or expression of interest from the bank. It's not a commitment letter, but it's just, hey, we've got enough information that we're interested in putting some terms forward. And then we're going to put our fee agreement, which we've done a whole training on that, together. And we're going to send that out to the client. We're going to talk to them about it, explain the fee agreement to them so there's no confusion. Uh, we're going to collect a deposit because that's one of the things we're going to be doing going forward is we're going to collect deposits from people, uh, about probably 20% of the fee. Um, we're still nailing the exact number, but it'll be somewhere in that range. And, and then that literally is the moment that things get kicked over to phase two. So that would be what we would call the transition call that takes place with Lana, i.e. the processor, is that you know, you're going to go through all the, the list of things that Lana's gonna walk you through in order for us to do a, a warm handoff, an appropriate handoff so that she can do what she needs to in her phase two process for the loan processor. Now, I've added two steps here because I think it's important and it happens. Lana knows this. There's just stuff that goes on through the process as much as we don't want it to, where there's some break-ins. So where the, you know, the associate might have to come back in and you know, there's times where the associate needs to deal with some things with the borrower. Some times where the associate needs to deal with some things with the lender that needs to get straightened. Um, and there's some times when uh, there's just, you know, maybe the deal is, doesn't work out for some reason. We have to recapitulate with the new lender. So the, all these are what I call move it through. So you're still kind of, you're not doing the dailies like the loan processors, but you're there making sure that, you know, if you need to break the dam, so to speak, uh, then you're there to do that. If it's a wedge breaker, I call it, to make sure things need to keep moving forward, then that's your job uh, to do that. Um, 
And so I don't know if you have any additions to that lawn or anything you want to add. Uh, no, I don't have any other than let's not do business with, un with unhappy people. <laughs> I, I agree with you. We'll, uh, we'll, they're, they're successful failures if we don't do it again, right? Right. So we, we just have to learn from it and, and, uh, and, and see if there was anything we needed to do, see if there was anything we needed to change, and then we proceed forward. Uh, so the step nine is we made it. Okay, so uh, this is the final step. We close the deal. Uh, we're all hallelujah. We made it. And now what we're doing post-closing, Lana does a great job on the loan processing side of walking through a checklist, making sure everything's done. And, and then we're going to audit the file. And this is when we're going to go through. Lana's working on this right now. Is you know We're going to have this little audit that we're going to do and go back through and say, hey, what what went well? You know what what did we do really well on this, and what you know what needs to change? We're going to do this one on the one that Lana just went through, or we're going to go back through and say what happened, where did things go south, or what do we need to do different, and how do we need to change things so we don't run into this again, and so we can have a better experience of being proactive for the clients, and sometimes proactiveness. That's why proactiveness is the aim. It gets implemented differently based on the situations, meaning that we're proactive sometimes uh, in making sure we don't work with somebody. Uh, I know that sounds a little strange, it might even sound a little harsh, it's not. Uh, we just have to be proactive to say we're not going to proceed with you because your worldview or perception is so off of reality, we just can't, we're not going to be able to help them. Okay? And it has nothing to do with us, it just has to do with them accepting some of the realities of transactions. Um, so that's the process. Phase one process, high level. There's a lot of little details in that, but I just wanted to have a something to go back and reference and say, okay, so I gotta go marketing, then I'm gonna do mining, I'm gonna move it in, get the checklist, model it, do my analysis, make the match and identify the lenders, mold it appropriately, you know, tweaking some things to make it work. And then I'm gonna make the deal, structure an LOI and a fee agreement, and then I'm gonna move it through, make sure that things are working. And then I finally made it, and I'm gonna do some auditing post-closing and follow-up. You know, there's gonna be follow-up and some marketing things that will happen there too. So it just kind of goes full circle and you're back through again. So, um, so that's the phase one process. I don't wanna wrap up the session this won't go as long as the other one just because it doesn't need to. We don't need to go longer than we need to. But does anybody have any questions about that or comments? You guys are quiet today, which either means you have no desire to say anything or else I've done a really good job um, explaining this. <laughs> go with the second one. There we go. <laughs> All right, perfect. Well, um, so yeah, so we'll, this will be recorded and this is the phase one process. So thanks everybody for